Hi guys and welcome back to another fly fishing video where you join me with my ever suffering boat partner Ian Pinder and we've come to Rutland Water and what I want to do in today's video is help you catch more fish. So without further ado, let's get into it. Well, we've motored out of the harbour, it was fairly busy at the pontoon and it was difficult to do any presenting to the camera, to be perfectly honest. So, we've come to Barnsdale Creek. Now, the reason I've come here is we did catch fish here yesterday, but to be fair, we did catch them on the buzzer. So, and what I want to do today is give you a technique that's going to help you when you've got to go in the washing machine and fish there. Now, what is the technique, you might ask? It's the hang. Stop. Do not turn the video off. I know what you're thinking, I know what the hang is. It's when you get the rod and you lift it high at the end of your retrieve and hopefully a fish will come along and take your fly. But there's a lot more to the hang than that. And competition anglers have been exploiting this method to fantastic effect for years. The hang can be executed with any sinking fly line. Now what I do with all my fly lines is I mark the line at 15 foot using glow bright and the reason I do it at 15 foot is because I like it. Now some other anglers may do it at 20 feet, it just depends on your personal preference. 15 feet works for me. Now a lot of the modern fly lines you'll see nowadays, especially the ones from Airflow, they come pre-marked and they'll be in different colour bands, 10 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet and you can also use that to some effect on the hang. Now, although I've said you can't execute the hang with a floating line, you absolutely can. And Ian today is set up with a Cortland treble floor midge tip. And all the hang is really, and how can I define this? It is a conscious pause in your retrieve. Now, what do I mean by that? And this will have happened to you. You'll be fishing away during the day and you'll stop because your partner's insulted you or said something funny in Ian's case it's insulting usually and I've turned to retort to the insult and as I've turned my line's gone woof and it's that conscious pause or unconscious in most cases and it's bound to have happened to you let me know in the comment section below when you've turned to a friend and you've had that opportunity and it's just gone by you now if you put consciousness into that pause you're waiting for the take and very often you're much more able to hit that. Guys if you're getting value from the videos please don't forget you can subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free and you can unsubscribe at any time it really does signal to YouTube that you're enjoying the content I'm making and helps the channel grow. Thanks very much I really appreciate your support. Okay so for the purpose of today's video I've set up with a 10 foot rod for a 7 weight and I've got an Airflow DI3 sinking line on. Now I've got that line, as I said earlier, marked about 15 foot from the braided loop. Now, I said about, it's exactly 15 feet because I measure it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast along the tree line that you see behind me here and I'm going to retrieve in short 6 to 7, 8 inch pools. When the marker gets to my rod tip, I'm going to consciously pause I'm going to wait 5 to 10 seconds. If nothing happens, I'll retrieve the marker till it's in my hand. And then I'll consciously pause again for between 5 to 10 seconds. And then slowly, as you've seen on many of the other hang videos or articles you may have read, I'll start to bring my fly up in the water column. And every now and again, I'll drop my arm down, which will allow the fly just to slowly sink down. And that can also be a trigger point for the trout to take the fly. Now, every time I strip off the foot and a half retrieve that I'm doing, I am clamping down with my index finger of my right hand onto my cork handle. So if any fish should take while I've dropped my line, then I will be in immediate contact with it and hopefully catch it. Oh, there we go. And so at the end of the retrieve, I've just hung my flies and I've actually, because the water's so clear, I've actually watched that fish come and take my fly. Thank you. 
decent. Sure? Don't be fooled folks, I've come to the very top of the wind, it's pretty blowy out there. But we've had our first drift of the day and Ian and I have managed six fish each to the boat. So what? So the, the what part, if you like, is I've diligently fished the hang and two of my fish have come on the hang, the others have come on the pool. So the hang, it doesn't always work, but as I said at the start, if you're prepared to do it diligently, you will get them bonus fish. Now we're in Barnsdale Creek and it's one of the places you can come on Rutland if the wind's blowing fairly gustily and still fish quite comfortably. But a lot of other anglers are starting to find that out in the wilds there it's not so good and there's several boats coming in. Now what will spoil it for us is if they drop the anchor. We've just been drifting up and down the tree line and we've been catching plenty of fish all over but what some guys tend to do is they come into the bays they'll find a little pod of fish drop the chain and then us guys that are drifting we're just left to pick our way around the boats and it it might not be as much fun but uh, we're going to persevere and see how we get on who am i to say what you should want and what you should need quite difficult to use the hang today it's okay when we've been up at the top end of the wind the boat's drifting quite slowly you're in control of your flies but when we got down the bottom it starts to get a little bit lumpy and it's much more difficult to hang your flies because once you've stopped retrieving when you're moving at that speed your line is bowing and the take detection gets much more difficult on the hang but up when it was much milder uh, it was working a treat. I hope that's given you some cause to pause, think about what you're doing when you're retrieving, and consciously stop to get the hang in place. This doesn't only work on large still waters. On your small still waters, if you consciously pause and wait for that take during the pause, you're going to catch more fish. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. And I haven't set up my landing net. <laughs> <coughs> Cheers, Paul. Yeah, but I've lost my train of thought now. Yeah, fuck it, it's gone. It's fucking gone. I had it there. You did? No, not really.